what I would like to create for other people is what I am feeling with those characters. So I am emotionally highly attached. They are someone to me, they are important to me. And I have the feeling like in the best case, people who work with me or who buy my work or get a tattoo from me or something like that, that they have the same emotional attachment like finding a new friend. If I create something for someone, it adds to their world. I was a really lonely child, so not really because there, there were other children and everything, but I wasn't really interested in other children. I was much more interested in the idea that there is another world somewhere. And I was more or less waiting my whole life for this other world to contact me. So when I was small, I really had this idea of being special, I would be the one person and at one point in my life someone would come and be like yes, so you are the chosen one and you can come to our other world and meet everyone here because you don't belong there. That was the feeling that I had and I was also, I was this child laying in my bed and we had this old wooden furnitures and walls and I would see faces everywhere, I had the feeling there are these characters everywhere around me. very attached to nature so I was wandering around even when I was little I tried to build a little house like in our garden I was digging a hole because I really thought I could live down there so I always had this feeling of finding my own world where I could belong which sounds super cheesy but that was always important for me and in a way that what I'm doing now is like I'm creating this world and I'm living in this world and I am really believing it so I'm I, I am believing it to this point where I am in the evening like turning off the lights inside here and when I walk out the door I would really I wouldn't be surprised if he would grab me by the hand or something so I have the feeling they are living beings One of the really big questions for me always was what is the difference between imagination and memories? Because I always had this feeling if I have an experience and it's over, then it only exists in my head. So what is the difference to something that I make up? I, I just couldn't, I couldn't understand what's the difference. It's, o it's only in my head, so, so why, is, why is it so different? also had this as a child it was super hard for me to give things away when they were old and it was like okay we have to throw this away but I was emotionally attached I had the feeling it's it's so sad for this object that it has to go now so the emotional aspect of it is to escape the world you are living in but you are not escaping it that much I only think it's more sensitive it's more like a safe space in the best case, I'm creating a safe place for other people too. If you doubt yourself a lot, if you, if you are not so comfortable with the world you are living in, then come and visit my world. Because of course it's dark and it's, it's different, but I don't judge there. The philosophy really is maybe to not be too frustrated with 
the world you are living in and you can escape by listening to other people's stories, look at their work, paintings, idea of the world, there is so much more to see but also you can create it. So I think this is also the aspect of my work not being perfect. I don't want to be like, this is my perfect puppet work and you can never ever do it. It's like everyone could do it and adding something to the world, something comforting is, let's say, good. <laughs>